Quite frankly, it's been far too long since we saw our final guest on Loose Women. One reason could be simply scared stiff of us lot. Or it could be because he's been rather busy, travelling the world, presenting his extreme fishing series. Thankfully for, uh, for us, though, he's currently back in Blighty, as next month sees him appear on our screens as a new character in hit drama Waterloo Road. Please welcome Robson Green. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello again. Hello again. Welcome to the show. Now, did you wait until Denise left Waterloo Road before you went in? Was it yes. a deliberate yeah. 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 We go back a long way. <laughs> a long, long way. way. Never you, again. You we had were, a lot of fun. You were offered a, uh, a part in the show a few years back, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's just I didn't fancy being a teacher for, for many reasons. But... Stop lying, Robson. Nobody asked you to be in it. <laughs> Oh, no, I've missed you so much. <laughs> no, it wasn't in there. Actually, it, honestly, it, honestly be told, it was, um, it was the fact that I'd be working with Amanda and Mark Benton, the cast Mark Benton, in the oh, new okay. series. And I've worked on Christmas Lights with again. Mark mm -hmm. and Northern Lights and, and Clash well, like of the Waterloo Santas. Lights. Waterloo <laughs> Lights, yeah. And, uh, no, it's just, just a simple love story. I play the caretaker growing up in the world. Like Jimmy the Porter. <laughs> the Porter. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a very simple love story of a boy gets girl, boy loses girl, boy tries to get girl back. Uh -huh. And it's um, it's been reported that steamy sex scenes. Well, it's not it's not steamy sex scenes. Sorry to blow the bubble, but it's 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 very romantic and it's a very simple love story. And you you care about the the two of them. It's a very endearing relationship rather okay. than one that's you know based What's on angst. Blue road or extreme fishing? Are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a relationship with fish. All the big fish. fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, it, it, and it was great fun. And working with Mark was just an absolute mm -hmm. treat, you know. And I don't, I mean, I don't know how you guys did it because the the schedule is relentless. It really is relentless. That's and... why she don't do it anymore. Yeah. I mean, well, no. Truth, truth be told, I mean, I, I, it's a hit and run for me because I mean, Amanda was just delivering dialogue by the ream every day and it, now that takes its toll. And right? also I where, we, where we film in, in, in this estate in Rochdale has its own microclimate so everywhere else around is sunny and there's sideways rain. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah. I actually got lost in the Midlands once and I just saw this dark cloud. Went, that's, we, it. that's it, that's, that's, that's the it. set. <laughs> so, someone reported Rochdale as a, a holding pen for the Jeremy Kyle show. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I didn't go because I loved it. No. I, I, I did. I loved it, and I, and I had a great time on it. But it was definitely a hit and run. I, I need time to learn dialogue and. and apparently, work on you were working out all the time. I hear from my yes. sources there. Yes, but not that wasn't for no, Amanda. Apparently, you were. You had like things. I did. Pitched up onto trees and everything. Where, what have you been doing? Because with Gary time? told me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was. Yeah, I was doing it at that time. I was doing a, a being human, yeah. and I was uh, playing a werewolf and uh, leader of the werewolf pack. Of course. Yeah, Forty-seven. Yeah. Of course. Why not? But it was. Oh, it was look great. at you! There you go. You look it, like yeah. Steve. Wow. <laughs> 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 that was. Uh, that how, was how long is that in makeup? That's ten hours in makeup. Ten hours. Oh. Ten hours. Yeah. And there was there was luckily there was only four four days when we did that. But the the Millennium team they worked on shows like The Grinch, uh -huh. and they said after a while Steve Carey doing The Grinch needed a, a Jim therapist. Jim Carrey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who did I say? Jim Carrey. Jim not Steve Carey. Carey. Jim Carrey. Who did I say? Steve, Steve Carey. Carey. That was his yeah. brother. That was his brother. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Your sister. And that your your um, your son really liked it, didn't he? That you. Yeah, were... he thought it was, you know it's one of the, that and a little thing I did called Bookaboo, which was like a Jack and Ori. He yeah. said, Dad, it's your finest hour. You look really cool. Now, so this extreme about? fishing, Lin Linda Bellingham oh, touched on it there. <laughs> I have to say, Steve and I do watch you on that. Um, him, because he loves fishing, he, he's mm. a big, big fan. I watch it because I find it really funny how giggly you get about the whole thing. There's, you, you, you can be in the Maldives, you can be in the Amazon, you can be all over, all over the place, and you get so yeah. Like well, course, well, I get giggly because A, I'm travelling the world. I've been three uh -huh. times around the globe. I don't suffer from jet lag. I've got space lag. I've been around <laughs> that many times. But I go to these extraordinary places, meet wonderful people in these. Mm. Wonderful rivers. I've been all the way up Africa. I've been to Siberia recently. I've got Argentina. I'm I'm off to Texas and Mexico, and I get paid for it. Of yeah. course, I'm going to giggle, you but know. And I'm not I'm not an expert. No, but also, yeah. you're a bit of a wimp as well, and that's why I can't never understand it. You're a bit of a wimp. A I was in a Force it. Ten in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a Force Ten. I'm that's from Whitley Bay. I'm from Whitley Bay. <laughs> it was just like Whitley Bay on the surface. <laughs> Say with the trawlerman. Have you seen the trawlerman? Yeah, well, I was with the guys off the Brooks Peninsula in Canada, and uh, I'm not. That's extreme. It was. We were on a Force 10. It was a hurricane for 36 hours. I cried like a girl, and I thought, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, we were hit by a rogue wave. It's on the telly. I'm hit by a wave. I do play it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I make the crying last about 14 minutes. But no, it's. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm violently ill. But really, really thought it was the end. Now, Generally. Robson, very quickly, you've uh -huh. been in America. It's been reported over here. Everyone's getting very excited that you were in talks and all this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. what, what was happening? Can you 
Can you spell it? Yes, I was auditioning. I was, I was out there auditioning for a thing called Missing and found out yesterday Sean Bean got the part. Oh. oh. Well, I'm glad That's I mentioned much that. Lovely... Yeah, well done. And on that bombshell, it's <laughs> been <really> lovely. <laughs> <laughs> <Fishing Denise>. <laughs> <laughs> well, did, did, would you like to work in the States? Is that something that well, you Well, there's, there's a couple of things. I, I, was, I was out there for a few other things. So it looks like something's going to happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. I met the, the creator of uh, CSI, so uh -huh. we're just talking about a, a few episodes you want me to do for and that. Did you fit so, any CSI Newcastle? CSI Newcastle. Way I eat five more. Hey? Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but, what, but, you, but you would? You'd move over there? And... Um, yeah, it, it, it just depends on, on, on how you deal with it. You know, you have to go over there to be offered something. I wouldn't like yeah. to sing and dance and go for pilot season. It, it, it can be soul-destroying. You There's... managed to fit in a few parties, though, while you were there, I did. I was, I was at the Oscars party, got invited you by Elton. Of... Elton. You must John's go in party. case you miss something. No, I, I, I'm not. No, I, it was just, you know, Elton John invited me. And you, you don't say no. And it was wall-to-wall -wall charisma. It was definitely <laughs> spot the odd one out. <laughs> <laughs> I was on my own. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Who's the loser in the Casey corner? Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really lovely to have you back on oh, the show again. You. I can't thank believe you. it's been so long. Good luck to Waterloo Road. Thank you very Rocks much. Rocks and green, everyone.